Afternoon everybody, big day, big game, huge game actually, Brentford at home in roughly 32 minutes time kickoff. Um, I've just seen the team sheet, um, I'm a little bit surprised, but quite happy with the team sheet all in all. Um, so yeah, here we go, so they're, they're starting 11. Um, Dubravka, although I've heard rumours that he's been nearly there or near enough fit for about a month now, but he's still on the bench. Um, Carl Darlo starts in goal. From what I can see on the Premier League app and BBC Sport and BT Sport and, and all the sort of uh, platforms I've seen cover the starting lineup, it looks like a 3 4 3 or a 5 2 3 perhaps. But I would say a 3 4 3. You know, Eddie Howe, he likes to be attacking, likes to be bold. And then unfortunately, the boss man's got COVID, he won't be at the game. Hopefully, you, you're all right, Eddie, and you'll be back as soon as possible. Um, but I, I've no doubt he's he's been dictating things behind the scenes. I think he only caught he only tested positive yesterday, so really all, all the preparations done in it. Um, so Carl Darlow in goal. Fabian Share comes into the starting lineup. No surprise there. He's also been playing very well for his country, Switzerland, in um, the World Cup qualifiers in the international break, and he's but he was frozen out by Bruce. And Jones, um, for some reason, we don't really know why, because he, he, he's been fit all season. But um, he's in the starting lineup, along with Jamal Lascelles, his captain. Um, I'm stuck behind a learner here who's uh, stalling at every opportunity. Um, Jamal Lascelles is captain, and then Kieran Clark, who I imagine will be on the left hand side of the back three. It could be Cher in the middle, like he was for the Liverpool game last season, which he did really well. But um, Jamal Lascelles doesn't really fare very well going out onto the channel. So I imagine it's going to be Cher right hand side, um, Lascelles in the middle, Kieran Clark left central defender. There we go, she's away. Right, um, four in midfield. Now this is interesting. Um, Isaac Hayden, goal scorer from our last game out of Brighton away. Um, got a drops to the bench. So you have. Matt Ritchie, who I'm assuming will be on the left-hand side of midfield. Um, Jacob Murphy will be on the right-hand side of midfield. If we're really under the pump, I imagine those two will slot back into the uh, wing-back positions, which they played the vast majority of, of this season. But a midfield duo of Joe Willock and John Joe Shelby. Now, I said online that John Joe Shelby, I believe, is time is up, it's time to move on, it's time for Newcastle to move on from John Joe Shelby, and it's time for John Joe Shelby to move on from Newcastle. However, new manager, new regime, new coaches, new style of play, new tactics, new training. Let's give everyone a clean slate, and um, on his day, he's got the talent to be a good Premier League player. So, it'll be interesting to see what those two do, because John Joe Shelby is not the greatest defensive midfielder. And Joe Willett loves to get forward, so it's going to be the old Lampard Gerrard debate, isn't it? But no doubt, we've got full faith in the coaches and in Eddie Howe. I've no doubt that they have a plan in place there. Then your front three is Joe Linton, um, Alan Samaximan, and the main man, Callum Wilson. Now, I imagine and I hope that it's going to be a case of, um, well, you know, it's Callum Wilson through the middle. Um, but I imagine it's going to be Joe Linton off the right and Alan Sir Maxman off the left. Obviously, Sir Maxman has had his best his best days off the left hand side, but he can he can be equally as damaging on the right. We look back to the Burnley game of last season when he set up Wilson with a fabulous turn of pace and cross was off the right hand side. Um, I'm glad to see Joe Linton on the pitch again. He's not warranted starting his two and a half years at the club so far but like I said new regime new coaches new manager new tactics new training new system give him a go let's give him a go um am I surprised we're not playing four at the back no um I know Bournemouth deploy wing backs at times but to, to go from our five at the back system which we've had for you know, 98% of our games for the last four years, you know, to, to go straight into um, a four in the back system, you know, 
straight away it was always going to be a, a bit of a long shot wasn't it you know it was always going to be a case of you know easing out of it slowly and it also it you know especially nowadays in the Premier League you can't just have one system you have to adapt you know um, for different teams Brentford I think this is the right system for them it, it, you know we're overloading the midfield I imagine at times we might go two up front and Joe Linton might drop back into the midfield and pack the midfield and be at the, at the, the top of the triangle in the central midfield if you like um, but yeah like I said different different teams for different games you know so so there you go but very excited as to how this is going to go um, I've not been looking this excited for a league game for some time obviously I always try and watch the games on telly and whatnot and you know I've been up a couple of times but this you always sort of watch because you feel like you have to this game is genuine genuine excitement around the game so come on boys don't let us down St James's Park is going to be fucking booming um, it's a shame Eddie's not there but I've like I said I've no doubt he is um, the full and dominant influence over the team sheet and the tactics and everything it was, it was only yesterday you know that the team would have been picked before last night I've no doubt and it was only announced last night so there you go um, but anyway come on boys Hi, the lads. Uh, here we go. Up the team. <laughs> 